Hi guys, uh, this is going to be part two of the Narshada Sky Palace tour. Um, I spent the weekend adding a lot of really new stuff, so this is an update to my last video. Um, hopefully it won't be as long as the last one. I'm just going to run you through real quick and show you the new stuff uh, that I got compared to uh, the last time. So, alright, so let's start by taking a look around out here. Uh, out here on the balcony, I have put down a lot of mounts. These are some of my speeders. I got this really cool bike here, and uh, this speeder right here. And I also put down these really, really cool pets. These are called Varactyls. And um, you can see one right there. I have a coastal Varactyl. I have a very cute little armored woodland Varactyl. And I have a little irradiated Varactyl and he's eating he's eating because he's hungry but he's eating the floor so I have to put some food there for him because he's just I don't know he's hungry I guess okay moving on um, so everything else is still the same here um, <clears throat> I do want to show you first let's go back into the bedroom the bedroom. I did some really cool things here. I moved some things around. Um, I put in, this was not here before, this table, but this is actually two tables combined. Uh, the first table only has the blue light on it. Um, the other table had these other little, like this little, little lantern and some other little drinks and stuff on it, so I combined. That's actually two tables. You can see the leg underneath there that I pushed those together and uh, kind of ingeniously um, made two tables into one. And uh, now I did something really cool um, here with this couch. Uh, that couch was there before in my last video, but it didn't have these little lights, these little light podiums on the end of it. So what I did was I added, uh, I added the uh, podiums so that it made it look like it was part of the couch. Isn't that cool? So it looks like it's one big couch with two lamps on it. Okay, this guy you saw before, the Cobalt Vrake, he is now joined by another little friend that I found. Uh, this is the green spotted <laughs> Giska, and he's just cute, so I just put him there. So I have two little, two little pets, two little pets, and um, so that's new. Now I'm going to go into, um, <clears throat> oh, this is the other new room that I did. This room right here, I made a medical room. This is a medical bay, and uh, you can see here. This is a um, this is a industrial uh, droid. He actually helped me make uh, some of the stuff that you see in this room. This is a medical diagnostic station, and um, this is a power station to power everything. And these are two little medical beds right here, um, so you can see. And uh, I put these little uh, blue network lights up there, just because it looks very official and I want to explain something about this in Star Wars this is called a Colto tank K-O-L-T-O -O, and in one of the Star Wars movies Luke Skywalker is completely uh, hurt and messed up and uh, you see him floating in one of these tanks and so this is used heavily in Star Wars the video game uh, to heal your characters this is how you would heal now Colto this fluid uh, needs to be uh, bought from a special planet in the world of Star Wars and you can see here these little blue barrel things that's actually those are actually Colto barrels so in my medical bay I've got a Colto tank with Colto barrels laying around so I got all kinds of extra little Colto so there's my little medical bed right there and that's pretty cool and now I want them to go on so that's the medical bay and that's what I did with that room and that looks pretty cool I think all right, so now let's move on. Uh, I had a couple things that I put in here and then I removed them. So nothing new there. I'm just gonna run down here real quick. Uh, these were all here before. My Datacrons were here. Spooky Statue was here. Okay, down in here I added um, these four little uh, chairs here. I put these, uh, these are called executive love seats and I put them around the large purple crystal formation so you can see that's what that looks like there so again here's the whole the 
whole uh, main room area. Looks great. Okay, now I want you to prepare yourself for what you're about to see. I have added a lot. In my last video, I didn't really have anything in the antechamber, um, and I put a few things down in the solarium. But now you're going to see the new antechamber with completed uh, furniture decorations put down, and you are going to see really almost the finished uh, completed solarium <clears throat> beyond the antechamber. So here we go. Oh, I put a little mailbox around there for utility. Look at this. This is the antechamber. So when you enter it, you can see, um, if you remember in the last video, I had those two thrones there. I didn't have anything else in here except a couple of couches. So if I want, I want to show you around here. Um, on both sides of the antechamber, I put these uh, little furniture arrangements that I had to come up with, uh, with through a lot of trial and error. And what I decided on was a motif. They had some furniture here that almost kind of felt Egyptian and so I kind of feel like the feeling of this room would be like an Egyptian lounge or almost an Egyptian massage parlor kind of feel to it so this would be like a spa I want you to think of this as like a day spa where my character can come and like get a massage from somebody and I went with these uh, plants to kind of because they kind of look like almost Egyptian kind of plants you'd find on the Nile. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking Egyptian. So I also put in a, that wall light there, or the, I'm sorry, the ceiling light. And I put in these two cabinets here. Uh, and I've mirrored, I've done a mirror reflection on each side. The other side has exactly the same thing as this side in it. I've got these uh, cabinets and then a little um, poster in the background. So. Uh, if you take a look at the other side, this is exactly the same thing. Kind of a mirror of it. Slightly different poster, but it's all there. So, um, and I put this fountain down in the middle, which I think is great. And uh, just today, I just got this really amazing uh, painting, multicolor painting that I put up. Uh, in between the throne room, uh, between the thrones. So this is the antechamber uh, as it is. And what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty swanky. Now, here is the finished or almost finished product of the solarium. Again, I said it in the last video, and I'll say it again in this one this is going to blow your mind this is my favorite room I spent the most time decorating it and it went through a lot of changes here it is <clears throat> the solarium such as it is now and if you remember I didn't have anything on the walls I'm gonna zoom in here I didn't have anything on the walls uh, the last time so I put up a lot of posters on the walls I put those red love seats in the background um, those lounges were there, but the rugs were not. I had uh, two red rugs, and only the center rug was blue, so I went and got two more of those rugs. I put two fountains in the middle, and again, you can see I put up uh, in the background, I put up uh, blue and purple um, resort signs there. That's what those signs say. Um, and I also added to the sofa... Uh, these end pieces, these lamp podiums that I uh, added. So let's take a look around. Now here is, I'm going to turn around now, this is going to blow your mind, this is brand new. This is a new uh, bar set. This was not here the last time. This cost me a lot of credits to get, but this is the thing that I really wanted to get and it fits so perfectly here. This is called the Underworld Bar. And uh, it's a much bigger bar table than I had before. I only had the little bar table, and I love this. I think this looks fantastic. So this is called the Underworld Bar, and it fits perfectly uh, in that area right there. So that's the Underworld Bar. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so everything else um, pretty much the same. I just put down, um, I put down two of these fountains because it looks kind of like a nice kind of like a nightclub feel to it put down that little table there 
and our dancer is still there. And here's the uh, the little podium end pieces that I put on uh, to the sofa. So that looks really cool. So taking a look around from the floor, this looks very swanky. You know, this is like a nightclub. The only thing that's missing is uh, you know some some nightclub music. It looks uh, fantastic. So um, out here, the last thing that I did was on the um, the outer center balcony, I put these two uh, little mini bars out here. I didn't have anything else to put out there. So um, I put that there. And uh, that is pretty much it. So that's the update. And it uh, looks really cool. So let me know what you think. Thanks. Uh, I'll do some more videos uh, of some of the other strongholds that I have uh, at some other point. But Narshada Sky Palace is looking good so far.